Hello everyone, this is the third Olga tutorial. If you remember our very first tutorial, actually tutorial number one, we created a very simple case together, this basic case uh, that consisted of uh, a simple uh, closed node in the beginning and then a mass source at the pipe one, section one, and then a flow path and a separator at the end with the, with the pressure uh, set to 50 bar at the separator and if you remember we created a pipeline which was a starting from uh, minus 255 uh, down the sea and it was kind of a little bit sloppy but a still horizontal pipeline down the sea and then uh, after 400 uh, 4300 meters there starts a riser and a short uh, short pipe that connects the flow path to the separator so if you remember this case with seven pipes, we started studying the this. We did some parametric study for different uh, uh, mass flow rate in the beginning, but let us take a look at the results again for uh, mass flow rate of five kilogram per second, and let us do the case uh, and run the case for two hours and see uh, what we observe in these simulations. So the simulation is run. If I try to plot the trend plot, for example, the QLT, which is uh, the total liquid volume flow at pipe 7, section 3, at the very end of the flow path, you'll see that the flow, uh, actually the total liquid volume flow is uh, oscillating harshly. So at around 1000 seconds, uh, the flow, the, the the total liquid volume flow is going um, uh, up to 3,000 cubic meter per day, and then uh, goes down. And you see this trend is kind of uh, oscillating, and it's intermittent. So we clearly see that there is a train of slugging at the end of the at the end of the pipeline, uh, in the horizontal pipe, in the riser, and uh, this is actually showing a very clear. Uh, picture of the train slugging uh, in this pipeline. So for example if I plot the PT as well which is the pressure in pipeline 7 again and section 2 for example uh, we, we see the same trend again this intermittent oscillation of pressure is clearly telling us that something is oscillating in the in the pipeline. So of course this is not desirable this is a this is a thing that we would like of course to mitigate in, in the in the production. This is not something we are looking for uh, due to many things. Uh, first of all, the oscillations uh, that is occurring in the pipeline may uh, damage the pipeline itself. And of course, uh, this kind of oscillation in the production uh, reduces the, 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 the amount of production at the end of at the end of the day. So this is not the optimum uh, solution for this pipeline. Uh, so there are there are there are several things we can do to mitigate this train slugging. Actually, we have I have I have come up with three solutions. Um, first of all, there is a, there is one thing you can do. You can do a topside choke at the end of the riser, and you close the pipeline uh, with the choke so that uh, uh, this mitigate this uh, slug training will, can be mitigated. You can also put a gas lift uh, in, you make a scenario like a gas lift somewhere in the middle of the riser or in the beginning of the riser uh, so that the gas can help the the production the oil production to be lifted up to the top of the riser and to the separator facility or you can you can increase the the production itself in the source term by increasing for example the 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 mass the kilogram per second of the mass or by uh, uh, of course by increasing the reservoir pressure somehow uh, let us take a look at these three different scenarios the first scenario is uh, is a topside choking i have implemented or i have introduced a choke at uh, pipe 7 section boundary 2 which is at the very end of the pipeline at the at the horizontal pipe uh, which is connecting to the separator and uh, if you look at here I have made a diameter of point, uh, point 0.1 meter which is the same as the, the diameter of the pipeline if you remember 
and uh, I have made the opening to only 1% which is quite low but still the mass flow rate is 5 kg per second and uh, nothing has changed actually rather than the previous case so let us run this case and see how this uh, choke can mitigate the, the slug training so I still I'm running for 2 hours simulation is done so if I plot the QLT this time at the end of the pipeline you can see that uh, you can see that the train is slugging is actually uh, not completely mitigated at the beginning but uh, mitigated at the end of the simulation at, at let's say one one hour and a half and uh, you see this uh, this methodology is working pretty fine you still have a high QLT compared to the previous case uh, you have something like 500 uh, cubic meter per day and uh, seems like it's working uh, if I if I change this uh, opening to let's say 10% uh, let, let us see what happens if, if I change the opening to 10% rather than 1% and I can run it to 2 hours still the same QLT I just need to refresh the page you see even with 10% uh, you still have a lot of oscillations and the slug training is not mitigated so seems like 1% is a good solution for this uh, very harsh slug training uh, scenario um, the second methodology the second, the second scenario you can introduce is the gas lift the gas lift uh, I have a, I have exactly the same geometry the same uh, flow field with the same mass flow rate in the beginning but I have introduced a, a second uh, mass flow at pipe 6 if you look at pipe 6 in the geometry pipe 6 is actually uh, the beginning of the riser so at the very beginning of the riser I have introduced the gas lift and the gas lift is introduced in a way that you only put the gas fraction to 1 meaning that whatever it comes from the table from the C tables that you had created before it is being flashed to total 100% of gas and it's only gas that is being injected to the flow field so and the mass rate for this uh, the mass that I have put for this is uh, actually um, the source gas lift mm, yeah is 1.2 kilogram per second so I'm I'm actually kilogram per second yeah, I'm actually uh, inserting a gas lift of 1.2 kilogram per second at the very beginning of the riser let us run and see what what kind of results we get at the end so running for two hours then I need to plot QLT the same trend plot at pipe 7 section 3 and you see the slug, the train is slugging. The train is slugging is completely mitigated at around 3,000 seconds. So this solution is also working out. But there is also another solution. There is uh, there is one thing that I said in the beginning that you can increase the the, the mass rate of the uh, inlet itself rather than uh, any any sort of uh, gas lifting or uh, mitigating by topside choke and uh, in fact uh, increasing the mass rate means uh, increasing the the reservoir uh, pressure itself so since we are we are not modeling the well here and we are just um, substituting the the whole well with a mass rate here uh, increasing the reservoir pressure means increasing the the flow rate itself of course so here what we have done is uh, i have created a time lapse uh, between 0 and 60 minutes um, actually the mass flow rate is the same as 5 but then I increase it to 15 at 1 second and I keep it to uh, 15 for about uh, 1 hour so I'm increasing the the, uh, the flow rate from 5 to 15 as you see here in 1 minute and I, I keep it like uh, 15 kilogram per uh, uh, per second for let's say 60 minutes 
and let us run this case and see how the slug train slug training will be mitigated so I'm running it for two hours simulation is done same thing same QLT total liquid volume flow rate and you see that after let us change it to hour so you see that after one hour still for one hour since you had like five kilogram per second in one, one hour you, 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 you can see that slug training is uh, still there but after one hour as you increase the flow rate the slug is completely vanished and you have a QLT of uh, around 1500 uh, for let's say one hour so this was the still the same basic case but uh, we studied a little bit about this like training scenario and the the the, the, the methods and uh, actually the, the the methodologies that you can uh, insert into your simple case so that you mitigate the slug training. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll come back uh, with some more useful tutorials and more complex geometries and more complex uh, scenarios later on. Thank you very much. Bye.